All right, we'll get started. So welcome everybody. My name's Travis. Hey, Leanne. I've lost more than 100 pounds. Y'all know that. I see all these names I'm familiar with. I've lost more than 100 pounds, come off all prescriptions, been doing this for 20 years. Our members have lost millions of pounds and inches. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And one of the ways we stay excited and get back on the right path is not just the nutrition education, but focused challenges. Weight loss challenges are always fun. They get you back focused, a little more extreme than our lifestyle but they get you that momentum again. Hey, Yvonne. And that's what we're trying to do with 21 Day Self Mastery. Originally, when I wrote that up, 21 Day Self Mastery, it had a concept behind it. We we played pretend. We would go to Thrive Island back in the day. If anybody remembers that, Thrive Island, Planet Shibola. And, and we would, uh, it was the premise that we're trying to develop good habits and we know that the variety around us has gotten us off the path and we're trying to refocus. So we, we humble ourselves like little children and we go get dropped off on the island like the Survivor Show. And uh, we are only able to pick out 21 foods to, to bring with us. So it, the, it's a play pretend thing, Leanne. You remember Thrive Island? So... Uh, we're playing pretend. Today, if you haven't already, you're going to get to pick out 21 foods that you're going to focus on for 21 days, okay? You're going to find 21 foods that you can focus on for 21 days, and you will lose up to 21 pounds if you follow this on the honor system and closely so it should be a lot of fun. We always get good results. At the end of 21 days, you earn your 21-day self-mastery badge. We have been asked if you can have holidays. Well, you can earn holidays, but you have to earn them. I believe what we said was that you have to have three perfect days to earn one holla meal. You can only earn, I think I said, only earn up to three holla meals during the 21 days. Otherwise, you got to stay strict and you got to stay perfect to earn your badge. We're going to be picking out the foods in a moment. You only get 21 foods and we'll, we'll go over those rules. But keep in mind your Shibboleth approved beverages, supplements, and condiments do not have to go on the list. There's been some questions about freebies. Do they have to go on the list? Yes. If you chew on it, even if it's almost zero calories like celery, you have to put that on the list. You don't have to put sugar-free gum on the list. Does that make sense, everybody? But if you if you have to chew on it other than the sugar-free gum, then it's got to go in one of those slots. But your condiments, beverages, and supplements do not, and, and your cooking fat, you do not have to put MCT oil in one of the slots because you're going to get 21 slots and then once we put the stamp on it, that's what you're stuck with for a full week. And then, yeah, sugar-free jello we got to put on in a slot, Betty. Yeah, and you get 21 slots. So next weekend, we'll we'll relook. And if you want to change things up, you can change things up. But you can't change them up in the middle of the week. Does that make sense? It has to be on your paper or on the digital worksheet that we're going to use. So let's get to this a little bit. Let me go over what we're trying to accomplish. And then we'll get to coming up with our, our list of foods, okay? All right, this is a self-mastery challenge. It can really be, as simple as it is, a life-changing journey. Experience a transformative 21-day challenge to shed 21 pounds. Focus on the abundance mindset. You're focusing on what you can have, not on what you cannot have. Focus on maximizing the 21 available foods, symbolizing embracing limitations for growth in the self-mastery journey. Shift focus from restrictions to possibilities. 
So instead of thinking about what you can't have, I want you to focus on the list that you have and think about all the possibilities with those foods. It's going to help you learn how to plan too, because you got to think through, will I wind up at a restaurant by accident? Do I have something on the list that I could do at the restaurant? Can I use something in more than one with uh, more than one use case, like a, an approved tortilla I could use at the Mexican restaurant or I could make a wrap out of it because you're only going to get to take 21 foods. Sets the spiritual foundation start and end each day with prayer. Uh, you'll have if you uh, if that's something that you're not accustomed to doing, Lisa and I can provide you with morning and evening prayers so that you keep your mind right. There's no doubt that your mind will be right day one, day two, but as soon as you make progress, in comes that diet devil. You don't war against flesh and blood. You war against principality. So as soon as you make a little progress, he's going to try to rug pull on you. He's going to try to mess, up your, mess, you, mess you up with your thoughts, mess you up with your feelings and your emotions to stay focused. Just ask Sandy, morning prayer, evening prayer. And in between, if need be, but we can offer you those prayers. We don't want to offend anybody. Uh, we have people that that offends them, but I am a Christian. Um, I don't, um, as the person that's responsible for stewarding the program, I am a Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ. Everybody's welcome here. We don't want to offend you. But, uh, you know, even last week, if you'd leave that stuff off, I'm not leaving it off. I'm a Christian. Nutrition guidelines and meal planning, uh, we're going to select 21 foods, portion control, well-balanced diet. All these meals are going to be really well-balanced. We're focusing on portion control, eating no more than three eating episodes a day, breakfast for the Father, lunch for the Son, dinner for the Holy Spirit, meal replacements. Uh, we're going to focus on the importance of these foods and, and how they break down in the body. And we're going to work on strategic meal planning. You got to really think forward about your week. Self-discipline and consistency. We're breaking strongholds down. We're building good habits. They say 21 uh, days of doing anything, you start to make a habit. And I think you do start to make a habit. You're replacing old bad habits with new good habits. So now we're going to get to it. How many of you are in and you want to do this? Beth wants to know, what does the coconut cult yogurt count as for gut health? A supplement. One tablespoon is a supplement. It's full of many active cultures. It's really good for your gut. One tablespoon is a supplement. All right. We're going to now go and pull up our 21-day worksheet and our foods. Bear with me. I ran right in here after another one. Uh, let's go to my resources. Let me show you where we're going to build this off of. If you don't have access here, you can uh, use a, use notebook paper. Okay. So I'm in the website. I'm going to resources. I'm going to digital worksheets. I love all these worksheets. 21 day self mastery plan. And then I'm creating. <clears throat> my title, 21 Day Self Mastery, today's date, and then I've got 21 slots. Remember, MCT oil, con approved condiments, approved beverages, and supplements do not have to be on the list. That gives you that gives you some wiggle room there. I did something to my sheet. <laughs> All right. Got it back. Okay. Now we're going to go to the challenge section. And you'll see in group challenges, we've got two of them listed. We've got two listed here. Zip Slim and Collagen Boost are supplements. They do not have to go on your 21 in your slots, Shirley. So 
Team one is the last name A through M. And we're doing it like Survivor. We got one team on one side of the island, another team on the other side. Team one, A through M, lose up 21 pounds. And then you got tw uh, team two is M through Z. Does that make sense? So you'll enter the challenge based upon your last name. Everybody got that part? Because there's going to be more A through M last names than M through Z, we're not basing the winner on the weight loss. We're basing it on average percentage of weight loss so that it's fair. Does that make sense? Percentage of body weight loss since the beginning of the challenge, and we'll take an average so that we make this challenge fair. I'm entering the challenge. I'm, uh, I'm going to challenge resources, self-mastery food list. Okay, I, I got to pull back up my worksheet. Sorry, I tabbed out of it. Let me get it back. Not bad. I'll get my act together here in a minute. Digital worksheets, 21 self-mastery. Got it. Okay. So I'm going to toggle back and forth between the two as we put this together. Now, keep in mind, your list does not have to be my list. This is just a worksheet to show you how to put yours together. Okay? So I'm going to choose up to 21 foods in my planning session. Again, this is not that we're just doing the work here together. You'll do this on your own, but you'll see how we did it, how this challenge works. Category one, lean protein. It's a really condensed list. Category two, fibrous carbs, all the way through seven categories. And then you have recipes, meal replacements, wow challenges. So start naming some food from the list. I want to use this list and start naming some foods and let's put them in our backpack. All right. What do we got? What do y'all want to see? Like if you were going, what would you start putting on here? We'll just try to pick a, a hodgepodge from different people. What do we want on our list? We're, we're headed to the island. What do we want? Approved shake. I'm going to put GC control. It's the best weight management one we have. Chicken breast. Okay, you got to pick the specific bar. Whoops, how did that happen? I am just all over the place. You got to pick the specific bar. Chicken breast. Tuna, we really want to be specific where we can because we're trying to get our discipline back. Olay Wellness Wrap, Tortilla, Power Crunch Bar, there you go. That's specific. Yogurt, eggs, and nuts. Okay, we want to say Greek. Greek plain, we'll pick one of yours. Quest bar, we, we want, we've got somebody wanting a quest bar. Leafy greens, one of the things we're allowing, instead of you saying spinach and kale, we're just going to cover all that. We are, we will, we'll give you some, uh, li we'll be liberal with that. Leafy greens, that encompasses a lot. Leafy greens. An apple, we've got somebody won't take some apples on the island. Boar's Head London Brawl, good one. Think about what you'll need to get through one week so you don't have to tap. 96 lean ground beef. Shrimp. Steak. Egg,
Greek yogurt. Uh, Carol, do you have to have the raw honey? We've already put Greek yogurt. Do you have to have the raw honey? Some people have to have it for medicinal purposes. Otherwise, I wouldn't want you to have any raw honey for the challenge. Hemp bar, one third of a hemp bar. I love raw honey, by the way. It's really good for you when you're in maintenance. Mushroom coffee is a freebie, Shirley. It would not have to go in your slot. Berries, that's another one like leafy greens. I'll just let you say berries, Carol. Turkey breast. We're thinking sandwiches, right? Penny's got hers already going there. Let's pick out one that's not on here from Penny. Oh, we better put some cheese. Sargento cheese. We've got some boar's head stuff. You could certainly put, put ham, peanut butter. Do we have to put sugar-free jelly? Do we have to put sugar-free jelly? We do not. We do not have to put sugar-free jelly. It's a condiment. We've already got peanut butter, I think. We'll leave that for almond butter. GC control recipes. Just putting GC control is enough for me, Shirley. Mushrooms, peppers, cherry tomatoes, all are good. We're down to two slots, so I'm just looking for something critical. We've already got a tortilla. Avocado, that's a new one. Let's put that. What else? We need one more. We got one more slot. Rice cauliflower, that's a good one to quit on. All right, rice cauliflower. Okay, I'm going to save so I don't lose our work. Now, did everybody see what we did there? Did everybody see what we did there? Thomas Light muffins is go and look, Yvonne, and see if it's a negative two or negative three. If it is, you could put it on there. Now, just a just a quick uh, just a uh, a thing that we're working on and trying. We're about to put these together in some meals. Y'all, are y'all with me? Of course, we're in a transitional phase and we're building something new here. Um, we're working on amazing things for you, you all. Kim, let me get to that question. We're going to put the meals together here. But my new software that we're building, very soon our partners and Faithfully Fit members will be able to take this list and say, this is what I'm working with. Give me the very best meal plans uh, using these options that would help me lose weight the fastest. Isn't that cool? For partners and Faithfully Fit members. If you want uh, something fun made out of your list, you'll have to save your list in there for me. But if you do that and you wanna support us staying afloat until we get more subscribers, I can look at your list before we even launch the program and I can send it to you for a donation. I'm starting to sound like a televangelist for a donation of 25 bucks. I will send you 50 different meal ideas based upon your foods that are the perfect macronutrient profile. Just keep that in mind. If you want to have some fun with it, it'll be laid out in a PDF and it will be based upon all of these foods. I can literally, in the new Faithfully Fit uh, meal planner, I can take every one of these foods, tell it about you, and say, give me the perfect meal plan. So we got some really cool stuff coming. But right now, we're, st we're having to still manually work this out for y'all, okay? So for Brett, did that sound good? Are y'all liking some of the things I keep talking about? 
I'm trying to tease you with it. Faithfully Fit members will soon be able to go in there and just, here's what I'm working with. Give me some amazing, delicious dishes. Beth says, I want cauliflower rice. Oh, by the way, let me back up. Let me step back. Let me step back. We didn't do it, but what if I want a recipe? Can I just put in the grocery list approved recipe? You remember the rules? This starts Monday. This starts Monday, everyone. Starts Monday. So if I if I want to pick out a negative two or negative three recipe, everything that's in that prof the ingredients I can have without listing it in every single slot. But I have to put the specific recipe, and then that's the only way that I can have it. I can't use those ingredients in that recipe that all fit in one slot. I can't use it later in another application. Does that make sense? Got to make sure this part makes sense or we're not playing fair. Also, you can list a specific wow challenge. You can list a specific wow challenge. You can't just put wow challenge. But if I put the specific wow challenge, any day I want to choose it, I get everything in that wow challenge. Does that sound fair? Okay, so now we're putting together our breakfast. Hey, Lisa, it may be too much on you, but I wanna show them what, we're, what our website capabilities are now. Are you listening, Lisa? I'm so sorry to do you this way, but we're in crunch time in June. This list that I have put here, it won't let me copy and paste them all. I have to do one sale at a time and I need to keep working with them. Could you list those out real quick on a Word document and shoot it over to me? I wanna show them the capabilities of the new partnership and Faithfully Fit Meal Planner. I don't think they really know how good it is. That would be a help. And then at the end of the session, I can I can show them how amazing it is. Okay, so for breakfast, you don't have to just pick three breakfasts. This is just a worksheet to work it out. So, yeah, we haven't done the Wheel of Wow in a while. We need to bring that back too. What are some breakfasts you could do starting on Monday? What would be some good ideas here from your, your food list? What could I put together? Debbie said a Mighty Muffin, but I didn't put a Mighty Muffin. Y'all listen, this is the fun part. So Debbie, we didn't put a Mighty Muffin here, so I couldn't use a Mighty Muffin. Leanne says Power Crunch Bar. Good. De Debbie, you can do it though. Yeah, because you put it on your list. Good deal. Peanut butter. So when I'm looking at my list, is there peanut butter on here and is there a wrap? So I'm looking, there's peanut butter, there's a wrap. So I'm having a peanut butter wrap. Could I put sugar-free jelly? You know, You know what we didn't do? Y'all should think about eggs. Those of you that eat eggs, you always need to take eggs to the island or some hemp. GC control shake. Good one. Let's go to lunch now. What can we do for lunch that's not here for breakfast? We're on the island. We're all singing around the bonfire. Team one, team two. So somebody, uh, Shirley, you could put a ProFlex bar on there, but we didn't. So you could put that on your list. We'll let you have that one. That's a good healthy one. Do it before 4 p.m. 
Egg salad. Well, I can't do egg salad, sis, because I didn't put any. Oh, I did put eggs. I'd have to put the recipe, though, right? You see what I'm saying, Beth? You'd have to put the specific recipe in the slot because I don't think we have everything to make the egg salad in this list. But your personal list, you could. Hamburger, I don't see that we lit. Yeah, we did. 96 lean ground beef. What, what would I have to put that hamburger patty in, Vicky? I'd have to put it in the wrap if this was my worksheet, right? So I'm going to have a hamburger wrap. Boar's head ham. Did I put boar's head ham? I didn't put ham. So you that's on your list, though. You could do that. Just trying to teach everybody if this was your, hypothetically, if this was your list, that's how strict I want you to be. You're only using the things on your list. Grilled chicken salad, we put leafy greens and we got chicken. We can use an approved dressing. Yes, you can say 96 or, or better, you could do that. Wilma's got a good one, egg, tortilla, and avocado. All that's on here. Egg, that sounds good, Wilma. Good deal. What else, could, what, what about dinner? If I if this was my list, what about dinner? You could have a, a wrap with cheese in it. Yeah, we got a cheese wrap here. It's getting later in the day. We might want to think about our, you know, uh, and it doesn't matter. You can change this part every day. Do y'all understand that? You can change this part every day. You just can't change your grocery list. Steak, you could have steak. Let's put some steak here with a salad, with a side salad, because that's all on our list. What else could we do? Got a lot of options here. Just with 21 foods, we could go forever with this. Could I have shrimp, steak, and rice cauliflower with some approved yum yum sauce? Steak, shrimp, riced cauliflower. And yum yum sauce. Beautiful. We didn't really put any snacks, so I won't get those. Now, here's how easy this is. For seven days, you have to eat from this grocery list. So I would get up and for breakfast, I might have a Zip Slim or a Spark or a cup of coffee. I didn't have to put those on the list. And then I have a Power Crunch bar. Then for lunch, um, I'm at work and everybody wants to go to a restaurant. So I get grilled chicken salad, take in my own salad dressing. Then for dinner that night, I have some stripped up steak, shrimp, rice, cauliflower, yum yum sauce. Beautiful fat loss day. Next day, get up. Have my cup of coffee, pop me down a spark if I want to. Make sure you're taking your supplements. Don't forget to take your vitamin. Any nutrient gap will slow down your metabolic response. So I get up and I have a finally hungry GC control shake. Then for lunch, I got my egg, tortilla, a little bit of avocado on there. Then for dinner, I got me four ounce ribeye four ounces of a ribeye and a side salad. You can see what we're doing? Simple, effective, one week at a time. Then next Saturday, those that remain who haven't had to tap out, those that remain will switch up the list again. We'll come back and we'll rework our list. We'll celebrate some success together next Saturday at noon. We'll celebrate. Good job. We will, uh, we will, we will cry. I might even write an obituary for all the ones that tap out that the headhunters got. 
the headhunters is going to take some out in the first two or three days. Who's committed to getting through it? Who's committed to getting through it? Yes, so you do. You are allowed hollow meals. Penny, correct me. I believe we said I need to find my document. I've got so many documents up. I'm afraid to even look. So for holiday, we're going to allow hollow meals for this this challenge. You can only have up to three, but you got to get at least three perfect days in a row before you earn any. I believe is what we said. Does that make sense? Of Correct me if I'm wrong. We do these challenges different ways every time. How do we get our worksheet to you to accept? Um, I can go in as you, Teresa. So if you cash out 25 bucks or Venmo 25 bucks, I will work. I'll go to your list and I'll take your list and give you the perfect meal plan with your food list. What is an approved bread? Uh, it's any negative too. So let me show y'all that. Let, let me not take for granted that everybody knows what I'm talking about. So we need a negative two or negative three bread. So I'm going to my resources. Everybody watching? This is good. This is good. Everybody say it's good. It's good. All right. You have to be silly sometimes. Good. All right. Amazing. That's right, Lynn. It's good. All right. Check it out. Check it out. So here's what we're doing, and we'll come back to these questions, everyone. I'm going to my food library, and I'm typing in bread. Here's bread. Now I want a negative two or negative three bread. I'm setting it. These are my options for the challenge. Do y'all see how I did that? Does everyone see how I did that? These are the breads and tortillas that you can use, but you have to put the specific bread in the slot. And then you can add it to your grocery list, print the grocery list off, and go in there and quit looking around at all that other stuff. Focus on what you can have. All right. My birthday is on Monday. Could I have a hollow meal and earn it? Stephanie Bassett asked if she can still participate. She's in team one. Team one, what say you? Take a vote. Is she allowed to have her hollow meal without earning it? for her birthday if she doesn't have any more hollow meals after her birthday. They're so easy on you, Stephanie. Juanita said no. Looks like the vote is going in, in her way though. Team one gets to vote. In your group, I don't mind if you do things like that, okay? I don't mind if y'all if y'all come together. You might want to anoint a team leader, but I don't care if you come together and somebody's got a situation. If the overall group says yes, just remember, the more liberal you are, the less results you'll have. Can we have, Yvonne asked, can we have regular, I lost it, it's jumping around on me. Hold on, Yvonne, I'm trying to find it. It keeps jumping, I can't keep up with it. You might have to post again, Yvonne, it's jumping around too much. I seen you ask something about bacon, but I, I can't find it. Every time I try to find you, it, it jumps. 
Sorry, I can't find it. Y'all might have to copy and paste that. Reg, can you have regular bacon? You could put down a lion day. You can put lion day, but then you have to put the foods you want for that lion day. You can plan on having a lion day, but if you want real bacon, you have to have a lion day, and then you have to put the other foods that you would be having for that lion day. Is Dave's 21? We have to look, Carol. So when I go in here, I'm going to put Dave's. It says nothing's in there with Dave's. So let me try again. Dave, let me just type Dave. Sometimes you have to play around with it a little bit. Dave's. Okay, so Dave's 21. It's not listed. So I'd have to look at it. And by the way, it, it wouldn't work. It, the weight loss meter on Dave's is zero. It would not work. Has to be negative two or negative three. Can we put onion, bell pepper, and mushroom on one line? No. Good, good. I should let you, but I'm going to make you use three for that. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, okay. Teresa's not wanting that. You wouldn't want me to do your meal plan. No, I don't have to approve your list. I would never. It's a free challenge, and I would never be able to get to it. I am so sorry. So on the honor system, we're we're doing it here together today. But keep in mind, in the group, you could screenshot your list, and you could put it in the group. And then ask everybody, does this look good? There's safety in council. So if you're in the group, screenshot it, say, hey, here's my list. Do y'all think I'm okay? I wish that I could do all that for you. I really do. I just, there's no way I could get to it all. No, no, that's not right, Miss Beth. All foods do not need to be a negative two or negative three. But your bread and your recipes do. Your, your food comes from the 21-day list. Do you know where to find that, Miss Beth? Y'all know where to find it? When you sign up for the challenge, you go to challenge, you go to group, and then we go here to the, the, our last name, go to challenge resources. Here's where you're picking from everyone. It's not just anything. It's not open season on, on stuff. We're, we're picking from this list. This is your options to carry to your island with you. And if you've got some requests and it's a whole food, we'll add it. It's not a, not a big deal to add a whole food here. Fun times, fun times. What's the most anybody's ever lost from this? More than 30, but it depends on how much weight you have to lose. Like Sandy and Charles, they're killing the battle buddy thing. They've lost 30 pounds each in two weeks. Any questions, comments, anything? Anybody got anything? Lisa, was that too hard to do that before I let them go to show them that? By the way, I do take donations. We need them. We're not charging for the challenge. There was no required purchases. Everything that you need comes from your local grocery store. Uh, if you'd like to support me and help and keep the lights on, uh, I do take Cash App and Venmo, and it's very much appreciated. Okay, so I'm Scott. Let me try that. You have to decide if this should be a free challenge or not. I'm not going to decide that for you.
Okay, y'all bear with me. I'm going to show you something really cool, if you can bear with me. Sorry for the awkward silence. Sorry for the awkward silence. I'm going to show you what our members, as this thing is learning, every one of you guys is so cool what Sir Jay's put together here. I'm almost ready. Hold on. So that worksheet. Bear with me. It's going into my worksheet. Based upon my likes and my criteria. So it took my my 21 day list and it said, here's what you can have from what was mentioned. Now I'll have to go back and tell it you did some things wrong. I'd have to make some modifications because it's not quite right, but it was quick. Greek plain yogurt, chicken avocado wrap, grilled shrimp and rice cauliflower, protein shake, tuna salad wrap, turkey and cheese lettuce wraps egg and avocado breakfast wrap, grilled steak salad, lean beef tacos. Boom, boom, boom. So it's able to give us tremendous ideas from the things we like. And then every time you interact and engage with it, it learns more about you. And you'll be able to say, thumbs down, I don't like that. And then it won't ever give you that option again. So really cool stuff. We need your support. We're not remodeling something, we're building something new, but we need your support. Karen, I meant this is a free challenge. This is free. I'm not charging anybody for the 21 day self mastery. It's a lot of work. I have to pay the team, but I'm not charging anybody for it. So I was saying humbly, um, I, I appreciate any help or donations. Hope that made sense. Yeah, Lisa, Lara, all of us, this is our livelihood and, and we don't want to be beggars and we don't want to charge you for the challenge. 
faithfully fit members and partners, the challenges are free anyway. But uh, if you feel led to donate, we just say we humbly accept it. We appreciate it. A lot of work goes into this stuff, especially the support work during the days. Anybody else? Questions, comments? Any questions about the challenge? Are y'all excited? Yes, we will meet each Saturday. We'll meet Saturday at noon. We'll also be answering questions during the days. Yes, Spark is allowed. Zip Slim's allowed. Collagen Boost is allowed. All your favorite stuff that you're using that's a help to you is allowed. Yes, you can review the recording. The recording will be in, in the video section. So when you go to the website, everything related to this challenge is just for y'all. So you'll go in here and you'll see it in the video section. When I go to resources, there'll be a video. See the videos? Right here, the first orientation was. This video will go beside it. Hey, Kim, to become a partner, it starts at $10 a month. Someone contributing 50 or more is a faithfully fit member. But 10 up to 50, depending on the lead, leading that you feel, um, is a partner and you get partner perks for that, some really cool features by itself, then the faithfully fit membership. Partners and faithfully fit members uh, will continue to have live classes. Bio coffee and health-wise hot chocolate need to be on a line they do. Yeah, that would be two different lines, Shirley, since those aren't freebie beverages. No, you do, you do not have to go print all the recipes out. I've taken care of that for you. Yep. You'll still have access to all of those. That's the most used feature on the website is the recipes. You all have access to the largest weight loss and wellness content website on the planet Earth. It is legitimately, it is the largest with content specifically for weight loss and wellness there's more bytes of data on our website than any other weight loss and wellness website in the world. I've been building on it for 20 years. So that's why it's, it's just a lot of data, a lot of hosting data, all that stuff. Do we need to record our body fat measurements? You do. I really recommend that you update that, especially some of you are coming back. It's been a while. Go to your journal. And in the journal, go to assessments. You have to journal every day or you won't earn your badge. This is where you do your, your assessment, your measurements, your weight. Click this and it shows you how and where to measure. You also want to use your journal daily. You've got your measurement section here too to enter your weight, depending on if you're a once a weeker or every day or so all that stuff's there too. The only way to not get the diet devil badge is to complete the challenge. And the only way to complete it is to journal, have to journal. Yes, kettle and fire bone broth would have to be on a line. Anyone else? Good things? Everybody excited? You happy? Is anybody angry? Is anybody sad? Is anybody frustrated? Hit that Q&A button and I won't call your name and tell me what you're mad or frustrated about because anger and frustration lead to no weight loss because you'll quit. We want to resolve that. You won't hurt my feelings as long as you don't scold me publicly. 
take the Q and A, and I won't scold you back. Pub I'll scold you back publicly if you scold me. <laughs> so I try not to do that either. Though. But if the Q and A button, um, I can take it. I'm a big boy because I want to look at what is impeding your progress. And since weight loss is mostly um, mostly emotional and mental, we have to fix that. We have to fix anger and frustration so that you want to do the program, right? Do y'all agree with what I just said? That's not when people say you don't have to explain yourself. I'm not trying to do that. After 20 years, I've seen people do great. And feelings get hurt or anger or frustration. And then all of a sudden they relapse or gone. When it could have been a quick conversation and some healing take place. And then we're right back to doing good again. Make sense? It does, doesn't it? Love, support, understanding amongst reasonable people. Some people are not reasonable. Did y'all know that? I bet y'all didn't know that at y'all's age, did you? Some people are not reasonable. They still fun. Like the woman that said, bitch can't help me. I said, I bet I can. She said, I drink a 12 pack of beer every day. And I said, you're right. I can't help you. <laughs> That's one for Jesus there. Anybody, y'all satisfied, everybody good? I'll let you go. I'll quit being silly. It is Saturday. Saturday does not have to be fatter day. I am feeling kind of silly. Uh-oh, I see one now that uh, I got a private. Some limit personal limitations. No name called here. Appreciate you sharing your frustration and hurt. You can only do parts of the program. Um, it would help me, like, a couple of things to consider is getting a one-on-one -on -one with me through Lisa. Um, another thing that I like what you said, because you, you, you're agreeing, you could focus on the parts of the program that you can do and still get an amazing result. Please remember, comparison, are y'all listening? I know that you'll agree, but I got to bring it to your remembrance. Comparison is the thief of joy. Never compare yourself to someone else. What they can afford, what they can eat, that they can walk and you're in a wheelchair. Don't do that. Focus on you and your relationship with the Lord. Focus on what you can, the best you can do. Think of it this way. There were three in the Bible that were given talents. One was given five, one was given two, one was given one. The one that was given five went and sowed his talents and brought back five more. He doubled them. The one with two didn't pout and say, well, it's not fair. It's not fair. He got five and I only got two. He focused on his two. He went and did something with those and gained double. The one with one said, I don't have five or two, probably. He says, I only got one, so I'm going to hide mine because I'll lose it too. And he didn't do anything. Do you see the correlation? He didn't do anything with it. He compared maybe. Why did I only get one? I, if I lose one, I got nothing. So he got in trouble. He was called a slothful servant. He should have took his one and went and did something with it and gained one beside it. Then we take two and we gain two more and we take four and we gain four more. That's how God works. That's God's plan. If you compare yourself to excess of what somebody has access to, how much weight they're losing, what kind of clothes, what kind of food they're eating because they can afford it, they're doing faithfully fit and I can't afford faithfully fit and all that stuff you, the devil's got you. You'll stay in a cycle of perpetual, but it's like I told Sandy the other day, 
Just walk, sis. And, and what will happen, you can't walk much yet, but tomorrow it'll be more. A week from now, it'll be more. You keep doing the best you can with what you got, which is what you said you're doing. God bless you. Thank you, Betty. Anybody else? All right, we're going to close out in a word of prayer. Penny, do you think we covered it all? You think we got it good enough? Okay. All right, we'll close out in prayer, and I hope you'll have a beautiful Saturday. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. Forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Thank y'all. Talk to you soon.